They're going to play the infield back, so a ground ball will score. Altuve. Second and third, one out. Correll has tied it. Wow. Rebound goes to the Cavs, J.R. Hill misses. Rebound goes to the Cavs, J.R. Smith brings it back out. Throws it to Hill. Hill shot blocked. And we'll go to overtime. You get the feeling J.R. Smith the thought they had the lead. He no. didn't know the score. I think exactly. That's a bad mistake by J.R. Smith. And LeBron James was trying to get a timeout. And LeBron James is wide open on the, at the top when he gets the rebound. And they had a timeout left. Let's watch it again. Great job from Smith to get the rebound, but dribble it away. And Hill could not get off a quality shot. Watch James. Now one of the timeout, but too late to get it. And five minutes go up on the clock. Overtime here in game one. Steve Kerr said that the the win, in his opinion, because of the JR play, was lucky, in his words. He said it a couple of times. Do you do you agree with that assessment, that the win was lucky because of that? Uh, sometimes we need a little luck. It's, you know, it's good to be lucky sometimes. So I'll, I'll take, uh, you know, I think, you know, when he got the rebound, he probably could have laid it up. Um, but nonetheless, you know, that's that's a part of the game, you know, being being locked in and I mean you gotta know the score. I don't really know what words I can describe that are fit for FCC airwaves <laughs> or to out. explain 
the the, the tragic decisions by J.R. Smith. I'm talk, You talk about a sleep at the wheel. I got to tell you something right now. That is as, as inexcusable of a mistake as you can possibly make. It's not like it was in the throes of action. You are at your George Hill. You're at the free throw line. You have an opportunity to take a deep breath, pause, collect your thoughts and what have you. And still standing at the free throw line where he was inexplicably not boxed out. He grabs an offensive rebound and runs out as yep. if they're trying to run the clock out because he thinks they have the lead and ultimately blows it and sends the game into overtime. LeBron James is looking at him like he has to be the most idiotic individual on the planet Earth. He looks at LeBron James and says, I didn't know. I thought we were up. And there you have it. You saw what happened in overtime. You know they've turned a lot of double plays. Oh, there's a drive to deep left field, and the ball game is over. even in their no doubles defense allows freeze to hit a double we set great power the other way hit too hard driving in two to tie Molina winning run at third it has sapped him of some of his strength tonight he has two singles an RBI a run scored go ahead run at first one out there's a shot in the right back at the track at the wall Hamilton has gone deep and it's 9 7 Texas here in the 10th his first home run of this postseason.
They just won't go away. Breeze is at four home runs this postseason. He's swinging for number five right there, and it's a full count. The Rangers a strike away from winning it in both the ninth and tenth innings. Two strikes on Freeze, two strikes on Burton. Freeze hits it in the air to center. We will see you tomorrow night. Pass is caught. Tackle is missed take time off the clock and they've done a good job not giving a big play now they'll throw pass is caught that's white touchdown exactly the same distance as an extra point 33 yard try and Gostkowski has made this a two score game Brady end zone touchdown Amendola Direct snap, and it's good. James White, eight point game. Hand off, touchdown, James White. Even if it is time for Atlanta. Pass, Amendola, flag is down, Amendola's in. But it depends on the penalty. Toss to White. He's in! Patriots win the Super Bowl! Brady has his fifth! What a comeback!